your discretion. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. Hey everybody, it's the Fobra, and I'm out in the garage today. Um, and I wanted to talk about my CBR 600RR. Something that I seem to notice um, on this bike more than my previous F4i or the F4 before it is that when I'm sitting on it, especially with my uh, textile or mesh pants, I seem to slide around a little bit on the tank. Um, now, some might say it's because I wax it too, too much, but um, the sides of the tank here, when you try to grip it with your, with your thighs, with your legs, uh, I find that it's difficult to really um, to hold on to. And um, started looking into possibilities. And when I saw that TST Industries was now carrying uh, tech spec pads, it's something I really wanted to look into. Uh, my buddy Hector, he's got a 2013 CBR 600RR, and uh, it's got a lot of uh, TST industry goodies. And one of the great things that it has, it's got the toast, we put a toast exhaust on it, and we put the, uh, the Halo 1 flush mounts on the side, and everything came together really, really nicely. It was very OEM-ish, and uh, their, their installation videos online were really, really good. Um... So when I looked at their website, which is really nicely laid out, I, sh I shot them a couple of emails, talked to the guys over there about the tech spec pads. They had just become a distributor of them. And I decided to give them a shot. And this is what we have here. Okay. I haven't even taken these things out. I just look at them really quick. These are the, uh, the tech spec gripsters that are snakeskins. Not the C3s, which are a little bit um, thinner. What's cool is through the package here, you can actually feel what they feel like without ripping them open. I guess to see if you really like them. It's got both sides. Something I was kind of worried about is that my CBR 600RR has this nice striping, and I didn't want to interfere with it. And it seems as if it goes right underneath it, so you'll still have the striping. You won't kind of cover it up. Um, these are the thicker ones, but I'll be honest with you, they don't seem super thick. Um... I mean, you know, visually, but they feel thick. They got a nice grippy surface on them. So this is what I ordered. I'm going to be taking a look at these today. And they are made for the 2007-12 CBR 600RR. And while it was on the site, I had to order more. Oh, look at this. Got a TST keychain. And, of course, got to add to my decal collection. Um... Just because they are cool looking, we have some TSD Industries matte twill carbon fiber heel plates. These are the, they say gripster on them, but these are the tech spec snake skins. And I'm going to talk about the different um, types of tech spec grips. What I like about it is I found this picture online here. This is what my, kind of what my tank looks like, almost the exact same uh, stripes. Pack, a stripe scheme and you can see that it doesn't kind of it doesn't cover it it kind of um, complements it in a way it goes below it so that was a big uh, deciding factor for me as well I don't mind the black because my bike has a good amount of black on it like I said these are the snake skins these are their most aggressive tread pattern these are an eighth of an inch 0 0.125 inches thick um, they are they're still pretty soft I wouldn't say that they're like um, uh, abrasive or anything but they are the most traction they have the highest traction pattern let's call it that after this they have the um, the C3s I believe they're called which are also available from TST uh, the C3s are 0 0.10 or a tenth of an inch my friend has them on his ZX14 and I think Tony from A6O Riders has just picked up and did a review of the least aggressive one which is called the High Fusion which looks more like a looks more like a suede or a leather or something. So we're going to put these on. Um, they recommend that you use a degreaser or something to clean the tank off. And because I put a ton of wax in my bike, I'm going to use a mixture of a little bit of Windex and a little bit of water and clean it off. So let's get to installing. Okay, so here's the side. Here's the right-hand side. And we kind of have to find a happy medium where we want to go in relation to this stripe and this lower line. And what we're going to use is some easily removable, it's actually, I believe it's painter's tape or auto body painter's tape. It's nice because it'll hold it in, but it won't be crazy sticky to get off. 
Yeah, I think that'll do just fine. So once you have the thing that you the the place where you like it, you kind of have to stick your other pieces of tape here to put like an anchor point on there. And what that'll do is when you remove these pieces of tape, you could just lay it right on, pull the backing off, and be all set. So let's see how that goes. So now we have a pretty good idea. Now, th what I also love about the uh, the tech spec pads is that they have this reusable adhesive on it. And I've heard up to eight times you can reuse it. So if this thing isn't on perfectly, I do have the option of, you know, pulling it off and uh, repositioning it. But hopefully, hopefully, I won't have to do that. Yeah. Look at this. What a plan of attack. All right, so let's... Let's put it on. So Tech-Spec recommends um, a temperature of about 80 degrees. It's about, I don't know, it's probably in the low to mid 50s here today. And these things haven't been sitting in the sun. So what we're going to use is a little bit of a heat gun. Put a little bit of heat into here and warm it up, make it nice and flexible. And once it's got a little pliability to it, we'll stick it on. Okay, so we're back. Put a little heat into this thing. It's nice and flexible. Let's just check one more time the final alignment. I think it looks good. I think it's going to look really nice on this. And, uh, yep, let's start sticking it on. Kind of just roll it on nice and easy, pressing any air bubbles out. does a pretty good job of taking the contours of the... Uh, of the tank. There we go. Nice and strong. Oh yeah, that came out really nice. I'll remove these and see how we did. No air bubbles at all underneath here. Really took a nice shape, like even the top here. Really nice. A mirror image of the other side. Yep. If not, like I said, we always have that nice reusable adhesive. And let's get it on. We'll let that sit for a little bit. I think she looks great. I really do. Okay, so the uh, tank grips are on, and uh, when I was browsing uh, TST's website, you kind of feel like a kid in a candy store. They have so much cool stuff. I decided to replace, replace these um, um, stock heel guards with some carbon fiber. Now, as I said, they came in two finishes. This is the matte twill. Um, I figure it'll match all the kind of that satin black I have going on on the bottom of the bike here. And what you'll need for this is a five millimeter uh, T handle or five millimeter Allen wrench. Keep in mind on the right hand side, it's actually retained by the rear master cylinder. So these are socket head screws. Be careful not to strip them. Use a five millimeter. Do not use any kind of SAE on there. You will screw up these bolts. There we go. Slide this one out. Okay, installing the new one. Same thing. It gets wedged between the rear set and the master. The toughest thing is just lining everything up. There is a spring on the brake pedal, as you can see. You kind of have to maneuver it a little bit. And there you have it. Just like OEM, make sure you snug these down. Here's the original one. Not bad. I like the way it looks. It's got a little bit of that carbon look to it. And it matches everything down below here. In the sun, it looks more carbon, while in the, in the shade, it looks more like a, a satin black. But I do really like it. I love the way they just went right on. There's no muss, no fuss. What I'm going to do uh, real quick is I'm going to grab the key from inside. I'm going to make sure that the rear brake pedal is uh, activating the brake light. There shouldn't be any issue. And after that, we should be good to go. 
Okay, so overall, I really like the tech spec snakeskins. I like the way they look on the bike. They don't, like I said, they don't distract from the stripes. And uh, tech spec does recommend 12 hours for the adhesive to set up, so I haven't ridden it. But sitting on the bike on the stands, I can definitely feel uh, increased grip on, as my legs hit the tank, and they're really not moving. As far as the heel plates, they look just like OEM, and from a distance, they just kind of melt into the rest of the bike. I love that. They don't get a tremendous amount of uh, attention, which is what I like about them. But when you go up close, you can see they're significantly different, and they look exactly like the OEM, which is uh, big in my book. So there you have it. Any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. All right. Take care, everybody. See ya. It doesn't, matter, it doesn't matter if you're on a cruiser and you're going 30 miles an hour, or you're on a sport bike going 30 miles an hour, you go down, you're going to be hurt. Now, I'm not a judgment guy saying you're a squid, you're a piece of junk, it's your body, you do whatever you want, but 